Hello you guys, today is another Mock Monday, and today's is going to be a lot bigger than a lot, a lot of the ones I have done before. This is a Rebel Junkyard, so something that doesn't, I don't believe actually exist in the Star Wars universe, but I kind of just made it up. And it is a Rebel base with a bunch of trash around it, mostly ship parts and stuff like that, so I'm going to go through this build starting now. All right, so we're going to start off with over on this side. You can see there is some trash over here. It's not, but this side is mostly like sort of engine type things. There's an engine to some sort of ship right there, I guess. And they kind of just go throughout there and there's like, they're always kind of on like slight tilts to their sides. And this one is just kind of a couple of Technic things put together. And there are some other colors thrown in here a little bit. But that's just to add to the mess a little bit more. And over here, there's actually a little Easter egg from uh, Spider-Man Homecoming with the little um, crate right there with uh, weapons inside. Over here, there's a little control panel, but that doesn't really matter. That's just there. And over here, yeah, there's just that. And along the side, there's just some tiling there. Not to really show much or anything. And then the back actually doesn't have anything. I'm going to point that out right now. It's kind of, it's mostly empty there. It is empty. And yeah, over here, we're actually gonna move over here a little bit. The ground, I'm actually gonna say something about that. It is, the primary color of it was the light gray. And then the areas that's dark gray is kind of where a lot of the paint is like scraped off. And then where the tan is, is just all of the like gravel is just like broken off the ground. So it's just like, just sand or dirt now. And then around here, we have a little bit of space for minifigures to actually stand on studs. Those are right there. And there's a couple of uh, stickered pieces right here that I reused from some things. Um, just the entrance right there. The entrance in here, you can't actually fit a figure through the entrance, but you can fit some inside. And I'll show you how you can fit those in later. See, it's not really a good size to fit figures in. But I mean, if, if you push them in like that, you could probably fit them in. And over here, there's a little control panel there, which is kind of to work on maybe a ship, a smaller one, that's supposed to land right here. And you can kind of tell that there should be a ship landing here with these uh, caution lines there. And there's also another control in front of it as well to work on that same thing. Over here, this is just like a crazy junkyard area. This stuff is all connected using, I believe, Lego building techniques. And yeah, it's crazy over here. There's just a bunch of parts scattered around. They're not just thrown on here. No, they're all connected. These are, okay, that, that one just fell off. But these are all connected, um, like, on a bunch of different things. But, yeah, that, that one kind of comes off sometimes, but I'll just keep that off for now. Actually, I won't. I think it goes right here. There we go. I actually built this a while ago, so it's not, it's kind of a bit broken, but I tried to fix it up as much as I possibly could. There used to be a lot more stuff up in that corner, but I, I fixed it as well as I could. And over here, there's another little Easter egg right here. That's the bat symbol there. The, yeah, whatever, yeah. And right here, there's a little, uh, little standard here, and there's some binoculars there. Over here, there's just a bunch of things. I tried to, like, lean them on their sides and kind of put them diagonally as much as possible just to show the mess. Over here, there's, like, a winged part, which has a stick behind it that's holding it, like, in place, standing up like that, but it's not actually holding it, it's just, like, for show. And over here, that, yeah, that's another thing that's kind of falling off, too, but that's just because that kind of broke, but, yeah, it's it attaches onto there, usually. And it has a little blaster inside, and that can fold out just to kind of show more of the mess design. So we're actually going to put that back here, just, you know, and you can fold that whatever way you want. Back here, there's some more motors and stuff like that, and that up there. And just a, a bunch of stuff over here, some stickered pieces to show more of that detailed stuff. There's a wing back there from one of the Naboo Starfighter sets. I believe it's one of the more recent ones. Back here, there's not really much else to see. I think there might be... Yeah, there's not really anything. But there's this little canister there that has, I believe, some printing on it. And up here, we have a one... Uh, like spring-loaded missile shooter so that's the one defense mechanism this entire set has 
like this entire build. Oh, they shot right at the camera because it bounced off right there. So you come back over here and you can see these walls are built up with some studs on the side, uh, connections there. And I'm actually going to um, show you something about the main inside build of this thing. The like interior of it was actually this entire idea was sparked from taking that one resistance transport set from the, one, the Force Awakens that came with the General Leia figure. I took that set and I just like I kind of remodeled the inside of it and that kind of inspired me to make this entire base thing but it's over here, right here yeah here we go so right here we see these two things which are just kind of showing some more detail there's not actually a way to see for the minifigures to see through there or for this to get any light in it's just to kind of show for a top window but it doesn't actually work as a top window so this can be easily detached because it's attached by one jumper plate right there. And then you get inside, you can fit a couple of figures in here. And right here there's like a little hollow table thing. And what I did, was, yeah, this was the uh, resistance transport set right here. Which I just kind of broke a lot of it down and rebuilt a lot of it. The inside here was mostly just gray plates and I mostly tiled it up and left some of the gray plates back in that corner and the other corner to kind of show how it kind of goes downstairs to more lower, darker levels. And right here, I still left those little constro control stations so characters could work over there. And you can fit about, like, maybe two or three characters, maybe four, around this hollow table to talk to maybe someone who's trying to uh, get a hold of them and, like, maybe... So do something like that? Yeah, I guess. And over here there's a light, and there's a light over there, at least it's supposed to act as lights. These clips in that set were originally supposed to be used to hold, like, blasters and stuff like that, but I thought they'd work well to hold those, and they, as you notice, they are kind of sticking out above there, but this still allows for those to be sticking out because it leaves a gap right there for those to be out. And that's pretty much it for back here. Um, up there there's not really much to see. This part right here is barely connected. It's connected by this one part and then like a little thing down there. So that kind of falls off easily. That's pretty much that for that though. And then, yeah, back right here I forgot to mention this is a little stand for a rebel helmet. I used just a minifigure head to attach it. And this, yeah, like that. So it's just a little stand so a pilot could come over here and grab that helmet. And there's a bunch of other little things here too, like over here, there's a little uh, Easter egg here, with it, which is a Batman card, I think that's from like a Batman Funko Pop box, uh, I actually got that from like some sort of uh, in, like uh, set that someone built and I got the pieces from it, and they were all printed like that, so I just kinda, I think I stuck a lot of these um, like printed Funko Pop boxes. Uh, like a lot around this build, but I'm not entirely sure where they're all hidden. Uh, that's the only one that I can remember. Um, another thing that I'm going to mention about this is there is a satellite tower thing right there. Not a satellite, like a, uh, yeah, you know, one of those. And, you know, for it to see, like, you can get, yeah, it's like a satellite. And that's, yeah, that's that over there. And I used the wing pieces from, I'm not entirely sure what, I think it's some sort of transport set, like for the Empire, and I used those to build up here on the sides of this, uh, like, building here. Right here, originally what I had was um, a couple of those, uh, like, barred doors pieces, like for, like, the prison cell doors right here to make a little um, balcony area. But those eventually fell off because they were not attached very well. So I kind of replaced it with like maybe what would be a broken corner of this for some reason, maybe if it got shot or something. But it does add a lot to the very broken feel of this. If a lot of this stuff like in this building part looks messy, it's supposed to. It is a rebel junkyard. It's supposed to be very worn out. That's why this is right here and there's some tan underneath there. That's some dirt and that's some broken metal there. And that's why a lot of that stuff is there. And yeah, that's that's pretty much that for that. Over here, not really much more to see than what I've already showed you. And over here, there's also not much really more to see than I already showed you. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Another thing I'm going to show really quick is that some of these in here are actually um, upside down tiles, which since I didn't have anything else to put here, I had just a, uh, I don't think, I'm, oh, there we go. I had some more tiles sitting underneath these ones and I couldn't fill those up with anything else because they were just tiles. So I took some more just normal ones like that and instead of putting them in this way, I decided I wanted to add a bit more detail to it by adding them in upside down. So that's kind of a cool building technique there. Those are kind of scattered around here. There's there's a couple of them. Actually, I'm pretty sure those, one, those three that I just showed you are the only ones that are like that. And that is pretty much it for this whole thing. And yeah, other than that, um, that's, yeah, that's it. Um, I really hope you enjoy, enjoyed this build. There probably won't be a lot more that are really big like this for a while. This is probably going to be one of my only really huge ones like this. It actually is a lot bigger than it may look on camera. I can put a figure right there and you can just see kind of how big it is. It, okay, yeah, it, it still doesn't do its justice. But it's, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I hope you think it looks pretty good. And yeah, there probably won't be a lot more things that are this big in the future. And other than that, I'm just going to say thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.